Psoriasis is one of the most characteristic and defining dermatological disease. It is simply defined as papules and plaques that are silvery or scaly. The area will be sharply demarcated, salmon colored, and of course, scaly. Most commonly, they affect the knees and elbows, but they can also be seen in the lumbosacral area, the scalp, the genital area, and the gluteal cleft. But generally speaking, they can be seen anywhere in the body. The pathophysiology itself is very complex, but generally speaking, it involves the CD8 and CD4 T cells, along with the dendritic cells. These inflammatory cells surround the keratinocytes and release many cytokines. This leads to the keratinocytes growth along with angiogenesis and inflammatory process. If we take a sample and put it under the microscope, we will see acanthosis with parakeratotic changes, which means that the stratum corneum layer that is normally dead will have some living cells by evidence of nuclei. There will also be increasing in the layer sp stratum spinosum and decrease in the layer stratum granulosum. And we can also see Monroe microabscesses. If we use the dermatoscope, we will see pinpoint bleeding spots, and these are known as Osbet's sign. These are small blood vessels that reach the upper epidermal layer. The most common complication of psoriasis is psychological diseases. However, the condition can also be associated with the following. Psoriatic arthritis, nail changes, like yellowish discoloration of the nails with pitting and thickening. It's also associated with inflammatory disorders of the eye, like conjunctivitis and uveitis. The treatment depends on the severity of the condition. The main categories we have are topical treatment, phototherapy, and systemic therapy. Topical therapy is mainly used for mild to moderate psoriasis, and it includes steroids, vitamin D analogs, calcineurin inhibitors, and dithranol. Phototherapy requires a more advanced facility and it's not the same as using a tanning bed. The treatments we have are UVB, which is ultraviolet B, and PUVA, which is Suralan plus ultraviolet A. Systemic therapy is mainly used for severe conditions. We can use methotrexate, cyclosporine, etanercept, adalimumab, infliximab, and other immune modifying agents. Use the link below to get access to the full dermatology course. This includes more than 60 lectures with study notes and revision cards. You will also get access to the flashcards and MCQs. Thank you for watching.